Yo, 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 Bully and the Beast podcast. Yeah. I'm L'Oreal. It's your boy Wax. And we have a very special guest today. I'm so excited. Shauna Brooks is in the Good building. Boy. 227. You know, um, people love to hate on me. They love to hate on you too, child. Yes. But they yeah. love you, though. You think so? Yes. I don't know. I do. I do. I think that you are, you've made yourself very known and you say exactly how you feel, mm -hmm. very unapologetic, and yeah. I think that a lot of Even people, when it wasn't a place or space to be exactly. unapologetic. Exactly. Even before, before the culture of the, you know, whole culture came in and dancers and strippers. And so, so, so you the Don King of this shit? Not really, that would be Amber <laughs> Rose in Black China. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mayor. Okay, okay. I know that's right. Yeah, but you've definitely always uh, said how you felt Never been afraid, right. and now you're speaking out for 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 trans yeah, right women in women. General. Yeah, you're speaking out for people that are not being treated how they need to be treated. Absolutely, and, policy regulation. You know, justice reform. I'm I'm here for it all. You know? And and I love that for you because Thank I you. feel like with you have such a strong, powerful voice, and people listen to you, mm -hmm. and to use that for good for other people is always amazing. You told us some stories behind the scenes. We'll talk about it later on in the show. We give people advice here, yes. and we always give the real, and we know that you are always going to give the real One to the million. people. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm excited because, uh, so besides that, right, good things that are going on right now, let's talk about what's going on good for you. Um, well, I mean, everything's good. I can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is real. Like, yeah, like, I mean, if I'm if I'm here, I'm I'm here. Mm -hmm. I, I can't say anything else about that. But morning. you know, I think you speak you speak your truth and you speak you know things into existence. So if you say that you just all right, then you're just gonna be all right. I'm great. Yeah. I'm awesome. Everything is great. I'm blessed. One thing about you, you always look beautiful, snatched. So, you think so? I, yes. I try no makeup. This is no makeup today. No, you look good. Thank you look you. good, but you always look you good. Bullshit. Though. No, for real. So I woke I up like this. I have a pound of makeup on. <laughs> Don't I usually have a pound? So does Wax. <laughs> and look at him. And this is how he comes. <laughs> but you be know. Be you and be true. Yeah. Early. Mm -hmm. Everybody but Wax. Like, right. Everybody can be that. Yes. Be true, not him. Because it's just a. So look, can I just ask you a question? Because you're stylish, right? Yes. We dress. Mm -hmm. Can you just like. So, like, what's, what do you think? Is it just, like, that they're too short? Because I always have this issue with his pants. Is it the sit-down? I just need a little bit of guidance of what is wrong here. Because something's not right. I think it's, like, the white socks. Is that what it is? Yeah. it the you know, socks? You know, people always yeah. say on there, yo, wax, take the fucking socks off. It's the socks. Shirt. It's they, the socks. They, they look a little sock. cheap. Where yeah, did you if, get if the, it, yeah. It black. ABC, no, ABC socks. What's that? That's what I get my like, socks from the liquor store? Nah, is the um, ABC to get all like socks by uh, white beaters and draws? <coughs> At CVS, what? Yeah, like CVS. <laughs> it's like almost like a CVS, but like towards the back. No, 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 no. It's the socks. Dogs. You need to get some socks that are worth a little bit more than a dollar. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're a grown man. Was a, if it was a little print or something that you know, on that it. you were that's what it that is. you were showing, we'd be like, okay, all right, I see oh, you. Oh, I know it's something. You, you give it. You give a dope boy starter kit. It's just not. That's exactly what it is. And then the chip only one Tim dirty. Make both of them dirty. No, no. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to give some people some advice. Now, Wax, if they wanted to reach out and get a little bit of advice themselves, what do they do? Hit us up at Bully and the Beast Podcast, you. Okay. We'll yeah. I already know what to do. Rawr. Go. Do you have some questions for me? Yeah, Wax, ask a question first before we get into this advice. Have you ever met a trans woman, like, in person on your... Mm. Um, yes, plenty. Really? Yeah. Where do these um, hoes be at? Nah, um, I don't never see the hoes cool, in the daytime. I'm cool with, uh, um, <laughs> this old girl that be coming to the thing all the time. Um, oh, it's a comedian. Yeah, the comedian. Um, yeah, I said. Y'all talking about? You know I'm talking about, man. Flame a roll. Flame a roll. Oh, yeah, Flame yeah, a roll is very cool funny. Yeah, Flame cool as a motherfucker, yeah. Sean is like, cool? 
Do you know, you know Flame Monroe? Oh, you don't fuck with her? I've heard of her. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, nah, she yeah. peace, peace, cool. You know what I'm saying? 1,000. <laughs> she's old. She like, she's an older girl, she's right? Old yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like she 1,000, though. Keep it yeah. 1 million. I, I think Ziggy I watched her before, why. like on Comedy View she's back funny. in the day. I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. lie, she's hella funny. Yeah. And she keep it real. She kept let you know exactly what it up, what time it is. How did how she see how other people feel certain ways and all this type of shit? She keeps. Oh, straight you know what? Now it's, it's coming back to me now from the like the media. Like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's her. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, 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 her. yeah. You know, Wax yeah. is Gucci. He had a song. It was for the uh, LGBTQ <laughs> community, <laughs> and it's actually called Big as Hell. Oh, and God. yeah, it, the song is like, damn, the nigga dick big as hell. Damn, the nigga what? dick big as hell. And like, this was like his first song that he had ever. No more, I, I've only seen gospel. So it actually she, started she, from lip <laughs> service, to be honest. Okay. He was talking about a porno. And mm. he said he watches the porn and be like, damn, this nigga dick's big no, as hell. No. Novelty music no, is a thing. No, <laughs> no see, it, it was opposite. She asked me, yo, do you, when you look at porn, do you look at the dude meeting like, damn. Well, you have to, right? No, that's what I'm saying. How? I look... If you see it there. I mean, you see it, but you ain't all, you're not looking at it. Just like you having three something with you like and your boy. You fucking. Ah. <laughs> all right. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, even when you having a three something with your boy with a girl, Why? you're not looking at your man. You see yeah. what I'm saying? If y'all, y'all hitting the girl off. So you just ignoring it? You're not even, it's there. But why, it's why there. You, there. You I get it. But if I'm that not, was the case, it would be two good. girls. I know. It's something that you'd be you attracted see to. It. You see huh. what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're attracted to it, you'll be trying to look at that. If you're not attracted to it, that's something that you're not going to look well, at. It's, it's all these cars inside the. Be. It's all these cars inside the inside the uh, in the car lot. The only one you want is the one you want. Are you, you attracted to saying? that red wall? Do you see it? Okay, boom. No, it's a, definitely see just, it. Just, just like just like in the club, it's probably mad beautiful girls. The one you want is the one you want. You know what I'm saying? So I can't. But you see them. You know, I, but you it, see it's them there. All. It's there. You see all them bitches though. It's there, but I'm not paying attention. It's not it's something I'm you attracted know you to. You see if the like dick that. is big or not. I'm not like, again, and that's where the song came from. I, I said I'm not looking at this nigga. Oh, shit like, cause damn, damn this nigga big. I'm not over there doing that. Well, I mean, I can't even saying that. No, they cut that clip. You performed it. Don't listen to this shit. Like, did you see the clip of the guy that could run really fast and he was doing like the football trials or whatever, but he had a big ass? Yeah. Exactly. Hilarious. So, so like, <laughs> my people are showing me it, but a guy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nah, but you can't act like you don't see that nigga ass. Right. Do you think that's why he ran faster? And he start laughing because <laughs> there's no way you ain't see that nigga. I don't give a fuck Listen, who you are, nigga. Stevie it's, Wonder it's, it's, that it's, it's hilarious. You look at this shit, it's, we can see it, but we not over here, like I said, on the show. I'm not over here like, damn, nigga. Big You're not enticed by it. I'm not doing that okay. type of shit. I, I, I look at certain girls, some dudes be like, damn, she bad as hell. And I'll be like, ah, maybe she's not. So why would you make bad. a song about it you if see? he wasn't that impressed? Because <laughs> that nigga dick was big. Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> Wax wanted to sing Lord about it have now. Lord have mercy. All right, all right, Wax, you'll be fine. Yes, Where man. can they reach Your out? Your questions. Yeah, oh, yeah, more questions. Okay, um, let me put this down. No, I ain't really had too much questions. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I like to rock with the show, you know what I mean? Well, like I mean, I think me and Flamin' is in a different category, though. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking what? about, like, girls like me. Like, have you seen, like, you know, you engage? Yeah, it's New York. For real. Where these girls be at? They all don't go to Manhattan, go to, go, they all walking down this motherfucker like there's nothing and full of shit out of you. Oh, that's what they doing. Hell yeah. You think, why do you say full? Because you'll think that she's a woman and then you, then you find out it's not. You know she what I'm saying? She is a woman. She is, but. Well, how did you find out? <laughs> I, 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 I could tell. I could tell. You know what I'm saying? I heard you talk over there. I, I already know. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain things that you you know. My, like my mannerisms. No, it was just you know. I heard you talk over there, so I was like, all right. Was you it like Barry Manilow? No, nah, it's just a, just something weird. It was just it, like it was, it was, take soon. You finish your sentence. You're like, uh, right there. <laughs> oh, it's the uh. Cause some people said it's my knees. Nah, I ain't see the knees. I ain't look at the knees. <laughs> Why I, I, I ain't look at the it? knees. But I was like, as soon as you like when you talk that extra like uh-huh. not in the beginning. So you say I, I need end. to have the voice surgery now. <laughs> Did you see at the end? So I, I gotta have the the voice surgery. You see how you finish at the end? Everything is all cool in the beginning, then it's like at the end it's like uh. <laughs> <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's real shit. I'm gonna keep it one million. It's bully and the beast. We gonna keep it one million all the okay. time. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, that's how I felt when I heard it over there. I was like, "Ah, right, yeah, might probably be as trans." She ain't tell me nothing. Nobody told me shit. Mm. I'm keeping one million. Um, okay. Yeah, I, you know, everything's everything. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't understand what you mean. 
Oh, Shanna's voice wrong? is very feminine to me. Now, Bruce, Jen, I'm Caitlyn, sorry. Yeah. Caitlyn, on the other hand, See, Caitlyn, Caitlyn is, never is, changed. She never changed. Her voice. Well, what did she change? I don't even know. I can't even lie to you. I think she put a dress on. And uh, what about Flame? Did Flame change anything? See, but these are, all girls are not, you know, it's just. Not the same. That's what I tried not to the explain same. That's what them. I was trying to yeah. just yeah, tell I, that, you. you yeah, know, see, like, like it's you, a different level on, I, so you know. Where's, where's they, your love wear from Flame? First off, Flame is like, like, doesn't Flame have kids? I think Flame might have a son or something no, like that. No, oh, she wow. has kids. Like oh, a whole, okay. multiple. A whole, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like, and then I, from what I remember, I think Flame got, transition for work like this was her work persona that was what she was like Medea. like i but, feel like wasn't rupaul like that originally but it was for entertainment understandable yeah. right but Dinner's they're right, still man. they they take that stuff off mm. you know what i mean like i'm not taking anything oh, off i didn't i wouldn't even know flame take it off that's why well here's my thing she did have surgery for that Peace. permanently Peace. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but just because she is under the community of the umbrella does not mean that she's a transsexual. Yeah. See, I'm a transsexual. Talk woman. to me. Talk you know to what me. I mean? So you have transgender, which is like just the regular umbrella term for all of the things in between. And People can... putting on a dress like Chris Jenner. See, you got to stop doing that because this is me and him I'm, had this issue. Yeah. Well, we to were figure talking out. about two men um, that they had like a, a crush on each other. And he kept two saying. Men? Yeah, and he kept saying, which one's the woman and which one's the man? And I'm like, wax, no. It doesn't it's work a, like that, though. Yeah, he doesn't and I, and get it. And that's what I'm asking. I'm mm -hmm. literally asking questions. People think I'm trying to be funny. I really don't know. I'm thinking, all right, so if one of them be like, I ain't sucking no dick, motherfucker. And the other one be like, I ain't sucking dick, then y'all can't rock. No, they do rock together. They just rock with other people. Mm -hmm. So they feed together they and just fuck out. everybody else. Because in their mind, it's all a perverse psychological mental state for gay men. Well, you know, the community. Peace. You know what I mean? So it's all like it's it comes from that mental uh turning someone out or oh, I like to turn tops, mm -hmm. you know, out or into bottoms or whatever the, whatever, however it goes. That's all in the mindset though. Mm -hmm. But if you have like a, a regular two gay guy couple, like you I would I would wanna think that there are design, you know, roles, yeah. you know, or, yeah, one is, you, know or you can but tell it's not one like is, woman or man. That's that not, not the role he's yeah, thinking. Yeah, that maybe it's not like that. woman is more. Versus, uh, I can't say one is more feminine than the other one because it's not always about feminine. Or, but you, then you have the feminine ones who are actually, you know, like the tops. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Just like now, we have a lot of transgenders who are like. Beautiful girls who are tops, you know, because that's what so they. So you out here smashing these? No, 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 not, no. I'm a transsexual. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. so, so talk to me. Man. Okay, so yeah, what's going on? <laughs> okay, so you know, like back when I was a hoe, back in the day, you are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I used to. I used to be a. That's what makes you money, right? Because that's what they want. They seek you out for that. So you made more money. My little five foot ass was definitely climbing up on six six niggas. You know what I mean? That's because that's where the money was at. Now, in my womanhood today, I'm not going that 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 contradicts and conflicts with my gender dysphoria. Meaning when I look at myself in the mirror, I see a girl. I look down below. And if it's a big D's to your knees, then that's that's not going to work for me because I don't even want you to touch it. I don't even unless it's survival sex. Right. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people see transgenders on pornos. I mean, let's be clear. Number top you know, number two on Pornhubs for years and years and mm -hmm. years that these girls are doing all of the things with their, you know, mm -hmm. their sheenness. And at the end of the day, a lot of those girls are not transsexuals, if that makes sense. They're not transitioning their bodies and transitioning to an end result of fully transitioning to have the SRS operation to have. Some girls are comfortable having dick and tits. Wow. We've made it, uh, hoes like me have made it okay for them to be comfortable like that. So you got, Whether they you got want me. It. No. Not, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, man. Listen. Take, take me out of the equation. <laughs> I hate him. I project, I we you. want free space. I hate this guy. We I'm want to keep it one billion with you. You would be singing the song. 
Yeah. No, listen, I, I, I got nothing to do with it. I'm telling I you. Say, uh, over your head, though. So, uh, it's, it's gone. No, but has anybody ever been, like, have you ever been in a bedroom and somebody actually gotten jealous because you were bigger? Absolutely. All the time it happens like that. All the time. Even, like, okay, so I went to Jamaica with my ex. Said he wanted to do a threesome. So we had some tour guide guy, uh, I forget his name, but... He took us to some, I want to say a horror, a, a, what do you call it? A, a brothel. Or, brothel yeah. was one of those mm-hmm. type of situations. And I, honestly, I just wanted to see if my nigga dick was going to get hard, like, with me, like, right there. Yeah. And girl, he was like, come over here. She was like, yeah, come join us, come join us. I was like, I didn't, this not, this is not what we came here for. This was not, I didn't sign up for this. And he just, like, pulled me in closer and took my panties down. And she gagged. It was like. She was like, oh, my gosh. She was like, this is, I guess she sees so many men. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then when I was just there, like, just for, like, because I know what, I know how, I know what she's doing. Mm-hmm. I understand. So I'm like, I just wanted to see and be a spectator. Child. That was an argument because then she wanted me. Uh-huh. You know, he was left out. He felt hurt. Like, it was a oh thing. Oh, my God. The next day, she she came over. We went shop. She took me on. She took me shopping. No. She took me to dinner. Yes, it was a thing. Like she really was like, yeah, like come back to Jamaica, come see me. Like no. Way. Yes, he was hurt, and it's always like that. But are you attracted that's, to that's women? That's cheating, though. Absolutely. Yeah. That's was cheating. it cheating? Yes, it's cheating. How? Because I paid for. It. Yeah. No, hey, I'm talking about it's cheating because you. Got and we went together. Yeah. No, I'm talking about it's cheating because you got a meat and titty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why the That's girls not love fair. me. Because every everybody like titties. That's why I say girls yep. can't be lesbians. You know what I'm saying? Girls can't be gay. Yeah, because of course. We all, we all on, suck on them. We all suck on titties. We in all our whole, suck on we titties. Started. Everybody loves titties. So all that fucking you gay eye, I ain't just sucking mm-hmm. titties. You know what I'm saying? You, just, you, you, got, you got tired and went down and put the clit you thought with the fucking nipple. You know what I'm saying? At mm-hmm. the end of the day. I mean, isn't a clit just a dick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You yeah, it's just not. I would say it's, it's not fair because you, you actually know I mean? have a really big dick, mm-hmm. and most people would think like, nah, it's probably regular, or whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. And you're like, no, I have a big dick, and I be fucking bitches. Yeah, I be fucking niggas. Yeah, and they are fucking mad. Yeah, that's why you have a lot of haters. That's why. Yeah, that's you out here wilding. No, I what? Because how you smashing? You know what I'm saying. Which one you Who like don't want like a, a hard dick and some soft tit? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I don't know, Wax. I don't know. You know You're having saying? a sparkly eye. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but, uh, yeah, bug it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, you, is there anything you don't want to talk about? I, we can talk about anything, you know. Okay, oh, well, this wasn't the show? Else, well, somebody else had a sparkle in their eye for you. and We know this was a story that got around, and then he tried to threaten you. I didn't like that part. Man, that was uh, real. Yeah, Benzino. Yeah, that uh, was real. Yeah. That fucked me up. Yeah, but y'all actually did have some kind of a relationship. Yeah, and I don't understand how I became the bad person when his baby mama is the one who outed me. Why, yeah. is, it, why is it always with trans women of color mm-hmm. that whenever something happens in the media or the blogs or however in the media, it's always being held against us. Like, I'm you being a woman penalized. of color, guess what? And, and so, the so, same so, thing, so thing what happens. What are you saying? <laughs> well, it wasn't my fault first off. Peace. So she went to the, she posted um, a screenshot um, of, first off, this nigga sent his son to, you know, be with his mom. With the iPad, the iPad was dying. Yeah. You need to charge it, and boom, Typical. you see my head shot, yellow hair. You know what this yellow hair yeah, gives. Yeah, you know how I go. You know what I mean. So it's like, and it says my name is saved in there. But we're we're we at that time we were literally working on a movie. Please. So all she had to do was just reach out to me if she felt any type of any type of way. I would have written, re- re- Ma, look. Whatever you got going on with him, we're just literally working. Please, mm-hmm. please. Some brand ambassador trying to promote, cross promote, Blessing. get this money at that particular time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you went straight to social media, and that just made me feel like, People do that. Now. Like, why would you yeah. do that? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you would have came at to me. You know, you would came at me like a woman. I would have been like, no, nah, work it out with your baby father. You know what I mean? I don't want him. Mm-hmm. And then. That was like 
a whole six months to a year mm -hmm. after afterwards then it came back up yeah so it's like when he started threatening me yeah that was weird that was that no that was not that was not the first threat that was like after i'm starting to feel a certain way because why are you threatening me like yes. i didn't i'm nothing but your friend i've never done anything disrespectful towards you mm -hmm. That fucked me up. Girl, I went down to the paper, uh, went down to um, Atlanta uh, Police Department real quick. Got the papers. Like, no, you're not. Yeah, because he's actually done stuff to people. He's this crazy. Is in a, this is in he's, the papers, not nothing that we're not Exactly. Saying, yeah. And I'm I'm crazier. So you, we not going to play them games. Yeah. And I, the last thing I would want anything to happen to me and a nigga claim he ain't know or you know, oh, I was fooling like somebody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I, he was kind of sending you messages he, that was suggestive. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, because he really did end up liking me. Mm -hmm. That's not my fault. Did he know? Yeah, I, you, come on. She shot no, I, mean, I, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Of course. That was my role on the show. Yeah. And like, you're very open and you, you're, she's never like, no. hides anything. Why would I? And very known, very well known. You've done love and hip hop. Yeah, you've done, done so, so many much. things. Like it's crazy. Yeah, you've been. I'm just waiting for my big break. I know that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I, I've, I'm new here to New York. I'm looking for agents, agencies. I don't understand. I thought you said, I said Asians. I thought you said they have this motherfucker too. <laughs> yeah, no shame. <sure. laughs> I don't understand why it gets like that because it's like if that's how if you have feelings for somebody. Who cares? Like, why the fuck do people get so like? Once Shit. other people find out or whatever the case, now and you want to be mad and mean towards and you. And what he said was exactly what transpired. And it's just like, but I, that's not my fault. Ba blame your baby mom, because what we're not gonna do is throw salt on me or pee on my head. Peace. Not in not in public. You view. didn't out him. I didn't out him. So it's just like and. And I don't even believe in the out stuff. If you're dealing with me, what is there out about? What we're out and about? Like, what do you mean? Like, my my what I do in my private bedroom is my business. Yeah. Who I work with, if I'm in the industry and if I'm they gonna say we was fucking. Who? The people. Who said that? That me. That, that's what they gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> uh, I'm the people. Right. I the nah. people. <laughs> No, but yeah, I mean, there's nothing. It's like you probably, it's way more difficult because I know even with me, if I take people who used to say stuff about me and him forever, I never thank God, that. they stopped doing that. They let it but rest. Like, yeah, it's like any guy that any. I, yeah, and, and I'm sure the same thing happens with you. You take a picture in the club, it's like, oh, well, she took a picture with so-and-so. And it's like, so the fuck, what? It's yeah. a goddamn picture. Everyone mm -hmm. takes those. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's really, I'm sure that has Like it was a trans woman. That took a picture with Drake, famous white trans woman, mm -hmm. um, Gigi Gorgeous. Now, had that been me, it would have caused such a ruckus. But fast forward three, five years, she came out with a, a, a story about it, of how it actually happened and how they tried to kick her out after that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just like, why do we have, why are we still having to go through that? Why, mm -hmm. like, it's just a picture. And it's, even if she was a nobody, you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Because she's Gigi Gorgeous and she's white, she doesn't get the same sound and tune of... Black women, child. We, yeah. we can't do a damn thing. I can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. But, however, you know, thank God that that had just... I'm, I'm happy you let everybody know, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Respect. I mean, I, I, I want you to know. Yes, respect. You know what Wax I mean? Wax has yes. a pussy. <laughs> oh, he is a pussy. Sorry. Oh. Two different things. Two different things. Sorry. Woo! Sorry. It's not going to stop. I was going right. to say, oh my God, we're dealing with some um, no, more no, issues no, here. No, no, not at all. Woo! You know what I'm saying? No. I'm, I'm just happy you, you tell everybody. And I mean, I'm not walking up to you and saying, hi, my name is Shauna Brooks. I'm a transsexual. Right. That's not it. what I'm going to be get doing. It. I get you know, what you're Because I'm definitely going to get an oil change and some new tires out of you first. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that I cannot do on my own. You are fucking oh. crazy. Single one. <laughs> Single Women Chronicles. Yeah, like, all right, let's give out some advice, Wax. Where can they Fuck DM us at? At Bully the Beast Podcast. It's going to be funny. Okay. Uh, hey, Wax, L'Oreal, and Shauna. Yeah. So I'm going to try to keep this short. My girlfriend's always got to be in someone else's business. She always know who got drama with who, who's cheating on who with who, who bills ain't paid, who's in rehab and all that. She tells me everything and expects me to care. 
I do not care about these people's <laughs> business at all. She's always trying to pry into people's business. And then she gets mad when I tell her that shit ain't cool. Yeah. Why do you have to be their guidance counselor? What's a polite way to tell her? Worry about your damn self. Yeah. Bitch, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. That's yours? It's mine. It's shut the fuck up. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> what you got, Shauna? She don't have no business of her own. That's Ooh. the problem. Ooh. Bitch Jenkins always in somebody else's Two, two business. Seven. Mm-hmm. Sitting on a stoop looking to like, see what's going on. Looking out the window. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you ain't hear it from me. You ain't, I ain't want to gossip. <laughs> she need a job. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She needs some responsibility. Get her pregnant, bro. Get yeah. it, do something with it. Send her yeah, to school. Yeah. She dirty up the house. She's I, a blogger. That You need to send her... <laughs> You need to send her to, she's a journalist, and you need to start acting accordingly, sir. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if she ain't bringing in no money behind it, what are we yeah, doing what are you here? Doing? Exactly. Now you're out here being a clock. Is she getting some SEO <laughs> behind the website that she's getting all of this? Is she publishing this information? Can you make money off of it? I think Even you she is, she down. might. Nah, that, that, you know what that is? That's just putting the fucking flame to the fire. That's putting gasoline to the fire. Ooh, do then, not do that. Then you're gonna have if she already going, doing huh? that, and then that's what I'm saying. She already had telling you that she can't pay her bills and all that type of shit. She put that on blogs. You had a whole town after you, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do not put that fucking gasoline on the fire, family. Yeah. I um, mean, she's nosy as fuck, though. She definitely isn't everybody but, else's business. So, so what you got to do, what I, I do to the drunk people in my family, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all know y'all drunks. Um, I tell them a bunch of lies. So I know when they start spreading the lies, people really don't believe nothing they say. So when they do tell the truth, the people say not going to believe what they say. So he so, got to go back like, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> and know what she going to say. <laughs> I used to do that to my grandma too. You know what I'm saying? I say she talked too much, but she's my grandma. And whatever I tell her, before I even get back home, 45 minutes away, an hour, my mom already, but boy, would yeah. you kill your grandma? Reverse psychology. You, you yeah. see what I'm saying? So you go ahead and tell them the untruth. So when they start telling everything, people are going to be like, oh, she's just talking crazy. Right. A lot of things uh-huh. always. Don't try to try to knock her credibility out of the way so she can shut the fuck up. Because she's not going to shut the fuck up. Cause I'm sure you told her to shut the fuck up. I know you told her this corny. I know you told her this type of thing just to try to dilute it. Mm-hmm. But if she, that's her character and that's who she is. You gotta just start chipping at the motherfucking her her, uh, her uh, what did I say before people to listen to her. So, but that's not a positive progressive way that's to do not, it. That's not at that's all. That's the he wax never way. Gets good advice. That's the wax way. What do, what do you got, Shauna? If you can't monetize it, did it? You gonna get her? You gonna get in trouble? She talked too much. It's a certain thing you're talking too much. She she might she <laughs> she might you know create a new. Shade room or something what, like that. With the Wendy you know Williams I mean? experience yeah, or something whatever. like that. I mean, but I mean, no, not really. People are coming to get you. I don't you. even like the way that situation yeah, ended no, out. No, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't like it either. There's people that people do depend on to find advice because he says she's everybody's guidance counselor. Yeah. So she's the shoulder to cry on when yeah. everybody calls. Mm-hmm. And you're just going to have to deal with the fact that she's this type of person mm-hmm. and tell her, like, you be honest with her. Like, I really don't want to hear. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. want to hear about this job. I'm sure he told it, it brings negativity to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. And I get that it's interesting to you and that's cool. Talk back with that about them. Mm-hmm. But don't please don't bring it here. Let's talk about right. something more positive when, when you and I are together. Right. Bringing our relationship down over there, that nonsense. Yeah, let's try to leave everybody else out of our relationship when we have together time. Or don't know, bring work home. I don't think that's work. That's just drama that she's <laughs> bringing up on herself. That could be work for her. Her friends ain't going to pay her. That's why they're going to her. Right, instead you know of a therapist. She need to stop. Yeah, she needs to not answer the phone all the time. But if she, she is, not getting no dick, he not fucking her good enough. Oh. Put your dick in her mouth every time there she opens you go. it up. To talk she, about not, <laughs> she she probably she probably she probably fucking because she always got to try to help everybody else because she's doing good. You know what I'm saying? She feel like she has shit together, but she ain't sucking enough dick. Nah, that's it. Let me tell you about how tired. Uh, 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 there that's you it. go. Uh, 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 <laughs> slam her mouth. Right. It's a, to the point where it goes back here, so it tickle a little bit. So, so when she t- talks, you don't know if it's a tickle or it's, if it's or a yeah, gag. Or a ga- <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? So when you get right there, right, Max? <laughs> oh God, so, already. so she can't talk. You know what I mean? So that do that every night, and she'll stop talking to you about yes. that. No or, or or put some peppers and stuff okay, inside her uh, her stuff so it's her mouth so hot she can shut the fuck Just up. Just toxic. What else you got, Shaunas? Offer to pay her phone bill and don't pay it and let that shit cut off. <laughs> Period. You get what I'm saying? But that's going to fuck you. up everything else too, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, you need to call her and get in touch with her because 
You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on. She ain't on. going nowhere. She's sitting in that house gossiping. <laughs> she can't wait for somebody to tell her. She on Wi Fi. The phone cut off. They ain't going to matter. You get what I'm saying? Damn. This bitch. Why is she at everybody? I don't really care. Sometimes I'll be like, people be telling me shit. I'll be like, yes, who gives a fuck? You got to be a friend and shit. So you like, uh huh. Yeah. What that about that when you don't want to be that friend to listen because you told them what was going to happen? Every and time. Then, oh, God, I cannot be that friend. You still I'll be like, I don't have time. Now nah, you got to listen, though. You can't be. Because somebody just. Why? So I told my, one of my dudes not to get married to this girl. She ended up cheating on him. And he over here. Now we all passing him along. He, he's that fucked up to we mm. all passing him. Like, yo, you talk to him? Yeah, I talked to him like a couple hours. So give him, don't, he's all right now. So just give him a little bit. To call uh, him, like, the next friend comes. The next friend comes. So we all passing this nigga along. But we all told that motherfucker that we all, I mean, they all smashed. We. You just said we. Come on, say, do you say Nasty. They all, y'all, all, all the boys smashed, and y'all, and then y'all can sell him. How do y'all? How do y'all do that? How do you? No, sleep? we told him about this. We told him about to do it. Oh, this was after the fact. Yeah, right now he married her after we told him before he even got married to her, and he know. You know what I'm saying? Not to stop. Why you wife her? I just had something similar like that. You did what? Yeah, I end up smashing like these two best friends, and I guys or girls? Two guys. Jeez. They're two drug dealers. Nice. Um, Matt you love you a hood nigga that's not what I want <laughs> I swear it's a trap nigga right you here love you a trap nigga that's not what I want however it just came like so that so you smashing them mean that you put your meat in them or they, mm -mm. they this, putting their no, meat in these, you no these is just regular niggas like you know it's regular they, didn't, they not real fancy with it they not trying to get dig mm -mm. so they just want to smash yeah they just smashing mm-hmm but I met the Puerto Rican one. Mm -hmm. Then I met the the black one. Okay. I met the Puerto Rican one first. I ended up making content with this nigga. That oh. was the reason why I met him. So I'm, you know, dolled up, smashing, doing my little, you know, whatever. I'm doing my content creations. And I had, he's been like on my line, like texting me like all the time, all the time. like. What's up? What you, you know, trying to get me to like come over, hang out. And I'm just like, no, 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 because you know, what do you think I'm it's working. your boobs? Oh no, this my fucker. Oh, God. <laughs> it's because I, I don't got, I, I got a bottomless throat, so okay. a lot of guys Whoa, like that. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. So and I know what that's like because I, yeah, lived so, experience. So do you yeah. think you could do it better because you know what feels good? No, because I've also had girls that, you know, have done it great on me, too. Yeah, okay. And you was like, teach me that. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, and teach then me. when a girl sucks, it sucks, it's a total different feeling from a guy. Really? Yes. You mm -hmm. know, you know, if it's like, sometimes, just. I just heard Wax say, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Like sure. You know how, like, okay, so a glory hole, you don't know whose mouth is behind the door, right? Mm -hmm. But it's something about a woman's mouth that feels you can distinguish from a man's mouth. And Softer? I'm yes. sure it's nurturing. Yes. It's like yes, it, it's inviting. Sure. Inviting. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's all of those things. And then, But guys also have, like, bigger mouths. So they can fit more. So guys like, you know. They put like the balls in the dick. Yeah, they just they just want it all. So, <laughs> and then you just like dive in. Like it's it's easier for them. But sometimes girls' mouths are not made like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it is but that, but that's, but that's, the feeling. That, but that's the whole part of, you know, the pride that the man gets. Oh, you here we go with his saying? shit. But Don't that, Because I said sex is for a man's pride and for a woman's pleasure. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A man out here who's having sex for pleasure is some selfish motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to come out here and just have sex for pleasure. You're supposed to go out there, conquer yourself, so you go out in this world and, and conquer mm. the world. Do you find men or women hitting on you more? Both. Yeah, right? I but see of that. course, guy, guys uh, do the look back. Girls, not not so much. You know what I mean? Like, I've, Once you say you have a big dick, I'm pretty sure more girls start to be like... I mean, I get offers and opportunities like with that like OnlyFans stuff, but... I just, you know, I just don't know if I feel comfortable. Like, that's just so intimate. You I know what I mean? I definitely know a girl that said, that told me she wanted she to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you. And it's a, like, it's a known girl. She's pretty. Mm. And she has said she, like, she was interested. I might do it. Yeah. I, I might do it. Yeah. You don't even know her. I like don't pretty girls. Nasty. <laughs> I like pretty Zoria, girls. Zoria, tell her what you tell me about being nasty. 
What? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you see how it is? You see how they try to stick together that shit? Fuck them. You call me a whore and all this type of shit. You and are. then she over here don't even know the motherfucker. I'll fuck her. <laughs> you, know, you can't do that pretty. shit. What the fuck? What's wrong with that? So I'm. So it's okay for me to be out here fucking these pretty girls? And not be called a fucking whore? Nah, like... Oh, no. See, now nah, that's a different... No, nah, that, that's being slutty. You're just... Yeah. All, so what is that what you... Be, what the <laughs> hell are you doing? Huh? Did you, she said she got a pretty girl. You're not supposed to... You're supposed to be like, oh, I don't know who she is. Tell her I'm okay. You know, I'm I just her. said that right before. No. Yeah. Who is she? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Give me the number after. Give me the number after. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful friend, Wax. No, okay. So let's help somebody else out really quickly. Yes. If they want to DM us, where can they reach out? At Bully and the Beast Podcast. How loud is Okay, so I've been dating this man for five years. He is my dream man. He has his own apartment, car, and job. He takes, is, is that all it motherfucking takes? That's all bitch. What are you talking about? <laughs> you got a black and black and take you to McDonald's? Like, Responsible. Like, yeah, it's like adult. it's called adulting. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, he takes me out for nice dinners. Didn't mind meeting my parents or anything, but yo, the man probably showers and brushes his teeth. Maybe twice a month. And look, yeah. he done set his flies in here to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he's so stank of flies. <laughs> okay, okay. I like this one. This is funny. He works in highway construction. So mm, he has a uniform. And he's dirty. But he wears the same <laughs> outfit every day. He smells like gas station 24 7. And At athlete's first foot. It was kind of sexy, but now the smell is like intoxicating. <laughs> yeah. But not in a good way. He rarely does his laundry, rarely showers. He still has the same axe bottle from when we first met. Oh, my God. Five years? Is there any way I can motivate him to be more clean? I've definitely... Bitch, you're not clean. Yes. You're You're not not clean. clean. I definitely (laughs) see niggas be a little dirty, though. Not this extent. Two times in a month. That's crazy. But, like, I feel like y'all niggas are disgusting. Like, y'all dip your dick in the fucking sink and be like, oh, yeah, ready to go. And it's like, nah, fam. Nah, birds together rock together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she nasty, too. Yeah, you nasty. Wax, we talked about this before. Wax is talking shit. He's definitely gone to the gym with his jeans on, sweated, wore the same shit the whole fucking day. And then went to the club? the next day. Oh, no, I did that before. And I, and I probably That's had a girl dirty. give me hair, too. Listen, and, that, and I, I, you have them days, but she's talking about months without doing it. That's kind of wild. But both, to me, like, I need somebody if to you, take the shower if you every day. day if, you, if you get a day out of me, all right, that's cool. Even a two-day. Nah, that's all crazy. Right. Two days is too much. That's crazy to me. I take that. You, you know, know what, what sitting literally in jail for two days does to a person? Listen. Just sitting? I, I, that, well, I don't that, know about that. That aroma? Us, what? That <laughs> aroma is I, terrible. I, I I'm saying, we, we, we're talking about just in a house. We're not talking about going out to work out and doing construction and shit. Do, no, no, that's what I'm saying. He's you wilding. are working out. Nigga, you be working out in them jeans. I don't like the basketball it's, short thing. There's no way that I worked out and then I went somewhere and I worked out again and then didn't take a shower. It's in, almost impossible. You so said you, two days. I'm just saying. Like I, I know, I'm, I'm saying at the at the house if I'm chilling at the crib, and if I if I didn't work out or nothing, of course I probably yeah probably got head and ch- chick probably came over. But I'm not talking. This you, you see, this man talking about a whole month. Yeah, I got Y'all got pussies. How about that? That's a totally different world. Uh Shana will smack you with that. <laughs> 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 I'm like nigga, what motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who got a pussy now. <laughs> You gotta wash. I'm not mad at the washing part. Don't your ball about, be sticking yes, to no the doubt, fucking Yes, no doubt. No doubt. You don't want all that type of shit. But like I said, months and shit, he's out of control. And that's I think, nasty. And I think, that's that's and nasty. I think she's nasty, that's too. Ugly. She's nasty, too. She's nasty, too. Yeah, what, you, what if it's like she didn't realize? Maybe he's so thing. fine that she's just trying to overlook that she got a, a guy that's adulting. And, but you know? what if he put the shower on to be pooping and then he come out <laughs> Oh, like that's, he be acting like he showered. That's disgusting. Niggas are nasty. What you mean, L'Oreal? Who you know that do that? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you Why just admit it. No, like I said, you're going to have, if it's 365 days of the year, I I say I probably wash. 65. Stop, man. I probably <laughs> wash 350. Now, I probably wash 340 days mm-hmm. out of the whole year every 365. I don't like that. I take that. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping the one million. Okay. But if we, when you talk, when you talking about we right. talking about months? Yeah, I need the shower. Y'all got How things. How do you get in the bed without bathing? Like outside with outside on you? 
Like, I don't want to smell. I hate people that smell like outside. Nah, girls. Y'all going, y'all just Nigga, got that. Outside but I want a, a guy that's going to do the same thing, too. But if I'm outside, yeah. But we talking, I'm saying if I'm in the house and I'm, I'm not chilling, sucking no dirt That's dick. what I'm doing. Never. I'm not. Did I come from football practice one time and got hit? Yes, all Nasty. my football players. I'm sure we all did. What? Nasty, disgusting. What? Stop. What? Nah, Stop. I don't play that shit. You've like, done with athletes down. before? Absolutely, and they're taking showers, bro. Exactly. You dusty motherfucker. Because you know how balls smell, because you guys, you know what I'm saying? So you that's know why. when balls stink. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say, so that's why you be like, man, fuck that shit. The girls don't even know what the balls smell like, so they think, oh, it's all cool. Yes, nah. they do. Yes, they do. You yeah, know I'm, I'm saying the, the first couple of times, balls, you look. know what time it is. You like, nah, man. I man, mean, but then again, she might like that, too. She said she liked it at first. See? That's what I'm saying. Well, See? when you're in love, they say that the smell the from the, 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 the endorphins. But she's st- it's starting to wake <laughs> <Now, laughs> up. He turned them off. Now that's he musky. turned them off. Because you, know you know what smelly balls smell like. That's what I'm saying. You got smelly balls. You know what smelly balls smell like. You like... Nah, let me jump in the shower real quick. So every time the mercy like, be real. But why she that's don't what I'm saying. The sheets and shit though. Or encourage them to do activities like in let's take shower. a shower. Yeah. yeah. The fact that you gotta trick your nigga into taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> he's adulting in the wrong areas. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's, like, he's great. No, fuck up with the rip, nigga. nigga. Go take a dirty. shower, nigga. Let me tell you something. You can't suck no dirty dick, sis. And your pussy got to be falling off. Because, yeah. like, the bacteria yeah. and all yeah. that shit, but yeah. that yeah. nigga sweating in there. Church pussy probably tough as a motherfucker there. She got a solid rock. Yeah, she got like a solid rock. built to last. Yeah, that motherfucker is immune. I, yeah, remember, I remember having an experience with a girl before, and she had, like, dough bread. That was, that, that was, that was yeah, horrible. Yeah, me too. It was what disgusting. Did, what did yeah, you say? Yeah. I gagged. I was, you just, said I was just like. Yeah, you no, know I stopped. That is, right? No, what is yeast. it? Bacteria? No, it's yeast infection. It's a yeast infection. Yeah, I had that shit. I had that shit on me. I had a yeast infection. Did and you I... have sex with her before that? No. Yeah, because sometimes when a motherfucker pH off, if they fuck somebody mm-hmm. and then it fuck somebody else, boom, yeast. Inf- it could be anything. Yeah, could be especially so- especially right off the out the. Uh, is period. it like it's like like bread yeast, like that type of yeast? Is it? It's just wow. It's like a pH and imba- it's like yeah. a, a discharge. Yeah, they, yeah, that's what I had. They, like it was like. Big. Ew. No, mine so wasn't that big. My, yeah, my, my shit, my shit was just leaking. You know what I'm saying? You had it too. I had a yeast infection from a girl. He still has it. <laughs> <laughs> he got to shove a monster up his pussy. Yeah, I had a yeast infection because the girl gave me bacteria. That's what they call it, bacteria something. So when she had the yeast mm. infection, I went in her. The yeast got on me. I couldn't pee straight. That's two different things. I had mass. Mass. You talking about bacterial vaginosis? That no. BB. No, I had a, I had a, the, I had the, the leaks because she had a yeast infection. Her mm. yeast infection got on me. So. But yeast is literally like white. But she said that's what bacteria. she had. I'm thinking I'm making this motherfucking uh, a milkshake Come. out this motherfucker. Ain't no yeah. milkshake. Yeah. That yeah. is not you know a milkshake. That milkshake wasn't bringing no boys. To the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a milkshake. You see what I'm saying? But she had mm. too many boys in that motherfucker. It, it was because it was all three of us, me, and all of my boys. Okay, we all had to now. go to the fucking. Uh, why do you why is it you in these group? Play? Yeah. You like group play? This is when we was all young. This happened. Don't blame it on young. age. Yeah. No. And don't blame everybody else because you was the main person. No. Again, me and my boys just jumped. You and your boys are close. We young. Yeah, we was young. Well, how big are they dicks? We're, we're not as close as you and your guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wax, how big are they dicks? I can't even tell big you. Big as hell. Damn, amazing. Yeah. Big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you to keep it up. Don't listen to her. <laughs> I hate that song. Who is <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. I want to hear this song. No, you don't. Oh, let's cue it up. Do we have it? I don't have it. Ah, uh, you see, you play it for the What you mean ops? you gotta get it? You ain't gotta get that song. It's you unbelievable. You play it for the ops right now. You don't now. like it, I'm telling you. All it's right, let's, I bet it's hilarious. Let's touch on some... Selena Gomez, she said she lied about how she was feeling when she was posting body positive content, right? So mm. she said that she wasn't even comfortable with how she was feeling, but then she was posting herself, telling everybody else to be confident. Yes. Have you ever had to put on a front in a time where maybe like shit was really like down, but you still kept acting like shit was all good. God bless her. That's life. It's yeah. life. That's, that's, you day, have to be like that. <laughs> that's like white privilege to be able to say, well, you know, I was just yeah, okay. yeah. I'm about to say, motherfucker, that's life. I don't know what's gonna happen in the next hour. I'm I'm still expecting that motherfucking big ass phone call. You see, look at right now, shit. You know what I'm saying? S- uh, Selena, that was Selena, right? That's Selena Gomez. It's kind of like um. Rich people problem. That's yeah. definitely rich yeah, people problem. We were just saying, and I'm sorry, I transitioned the, the segments without even saying we gotta get into word on the street. 
But um, we just was talking to you about some of the work that you do with activism and mm-hmm. stuff like that and the things that you went through. Mm-hmm. And it's like, imagine what you're fighting for. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, I didn't like that I had a little pudge that day. Yeah, and I'm like, what? I was crying my eyes out. Not to say that yeah. we're taken away from anything right. that she's going through mentally or whatever. Mm-hmm. But we have real problems out here, right? That's what her friends are for. Yeah. Her close friends. friends you know, like, girl, for. was I really fat in that post, girl? Like, they ain't not, they, say you said, say it again, your real friends. Yeah, that was the ones, who, the ones who want you to look ugly so they could get all the, girl, the guys right. in the club. It's going to say, oh, girl. And I, and I hate when they, that, that girl with all the shit all popping out and all her friends like, oh, look at y'all, y'all see her. She look all good. But then oh, again, yeah, shit. But if she's confident. If she, she's that's what I was saying. But then again, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a line and barrier there. But that is some definitely some girl. Like why did that? Why is that news? Right. And what about like okay? So your friends, you gotta look out for your friends, of course. What a lot of women are doing nowadays, or whatever the case, men as well. This fucking face app, face tune, and they be looking fucking crazy in the face. Whew. Do you tell your friend like, listen, bitch? I don't know why you put them. I saw a video like that. It just went down my timeline. Uh, she was talking about how everybody has the the chin, the pointy chin. Yes, the uh-huh. pointy chin. Yeah, like. What's happening here? Do y'all... I don't know. Do you tell your friends, though? Because I have a friend that damn near made herself look like a cartoon character. And I'm like... (laughs) She a whole live... She a whole live avatar. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, you look fucking crazy. Like, do nobody tell these people? I think that's... I think that's technology and we're just allowing it to just progress into this dysphoria and people... Some people like it. Some people want to look like that. They do. You know what I mean? Like... The I girls are getting ranger. outrageous with Botox, like and yeah. and lip fillers and all of the things. Yeah, if I if I would have been a Power Ranger when I was young, I would have been a Power Ranger. I would have turned myself into a fucking Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Damn. Okay, but Wax, how do you feel when you like? Okay, because it's all this airbrush, all this whatever. How do you mm. feel when you see the people outside of? Like, I know because girls. Have I don't like when guys use it though. I don't like. I don't like when guys use the face yeah. tune and stuff because they. That that's cat that's bait and switch. So it's like um, you oh, know, oh, you, oh you mean I, I thought you meant just just regular regular makeup or just no like they can filter. make you can make you muscles like that's corny. yeah yeah just to bring your waist in come on you saying guys doing this yes guys yeah yes. everybody does it a lot of people do it I seen a picture yesterday that was so ridiculous. Like, I was laughing for probably, like, 30 minutes. (laughs) Like, the motherfucker put a smile on their face. That's how crazy this shit is that you could put a fake smile on your Mm -hmm. face. And the shit didn't even look like it belonged on the (laughs) floor. Listen, about social shit. media has gotten so boring for me. So when I run across a photo like that, I really appreciate it. Like yeah, I really, comedy. I really, yes. No, it's hilarious. Yeah. I, I I did see somebody like make themselves a little skinnier because they were like, "Yo, bro, go work out." Yeah, like my fucking is that? I you don't. Skinny nah, in real life. listen, girls gonna do that. Let them go ahead and do whatever they gotta do. They gotta have periods every month. You know what I'm saying? So. Whatever they want to do, let them motherfucking do. They not us. So Selena should not be feeling that way, though? No way. You, you I don't think so anyway. either. Anyway, you got to go through things that we don't have to go through. So we always got to get y'all passes. Y'all dudes, shut the fuck up and go work out. And y'all ain't got to sit there and worry about, oh, you get into a good workout flow. And then three a whole week, you throw your shit off because you might have a period or something like that. You know mm, what I'm saying? I understand. So as all these dudes, you, you can't get away with that type of shit. I get it. You might get pregnant for nine months and you might throw your whole shit off. Mm. Men ain't got to deal with that type of shit. So mm-hmm. no, no, sir. Okay. Okay. When you put it like that, I understand. Yes, ma'am. All right. So somebody tweeted this out. Every bitch has a pair of her previous homeboys, homeboys drugs. Okay. So when it comes to old clothes oh, from okay. an ex, right? Do you feel a way like if you seen something in like your dude's house or whatever? Didn't and- that just happen to Chloe Bailey? Exactly. That was that's exactly what I'm sure where it stemmed from. So like if you throw the shirt on or some shit. I'm fighting. Yeah. I'm fighting. It goes away. It goes in the garbage, right? <clears throat> Once the relationship's over. Or yes. or yeah. or I just keep on it for whatever reason. It's all the way in the back of the drawer, on the bottom, or when you take the drawer out, it's on the floor, like. Yeah, but no, don't have nobody else in my shit. Cause, and, but what about you holding on to an ex and stuff? Do you do that? I mean, I, pictures? Like, no, like clothes. Clothes. I, I do have like some military shorts that was his, but like, yeah. So if um your new dude was like, throw those away, you would? Or, or put them on. 
First off, don't. <laughs> what, if put, what if your dude put him on? To go put the, get the pizza. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I was like, let's take a picture on Instagram. Would you be like, take him off? I would definitely let him know it first. Like, those are my ex. Why do you have those on? Why you have these in his house? And then he's going to hit me with that. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to be like. I forgot. See, why you got to be on the bullshit? If you're going to be doing it, you got to do it or don't do it at all. I mean, it's not. That's ex. why I'm celibate. Because it's like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. If I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. So you don't have anything from a female in your house? Because I know somebody that was like cleaning up and found like an old jacket from another girl. Mm. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like. I tell her to calm down. I was like, you don't even know whose it is. Right. You know? Could have been his pressed. aunt. Yeah. She yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely got things in, in my situation. But why? Where do you put them? Um, I don't know. It's, it's somewhere. I don't even know where it's at. But oh. I'm sure if you find, if whatever I got going on, you found one. Leftover you know, tampon boxes. Nah. Mm. I mean, maybe a brush vibrator. Uh, a brush and a vibrator? That's crazy. Maybe a, you know, I could brush my hair and vibrate? Yeah. V- brush, vibrate, maybe a, a rags or something that you do. Maybe a robe. Like little okay, shit so like that. No, you, nothing like. No, nah, um, don't don't have no bitches robe. in my robe. What? No, no. I'm just saying, if she did leave something, that's probably something I just didn't throw in the garbage. Why not? Because now, if I'm the new girl and I'm coming and you got this bitch's robe and dildo, it's like. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I, I thought you meant somebody just coming to clean my shit. Oh, if I got my new shorty, everything is out. That's yeah, that's what okay. I'm saying. It, it, okay, again, okay, okay. Yeah. Again, it only depends on how much I respect this woman that's coming, this new woman. Do you yeah, have women who? Regardless of who is coming into the situation, stuff is still going to be there? Yes, it all depends on if I respect this one that just left more than I respect this fucking whore that's about to come out just by the smash. Yeah. So, you, so you're bringing the whores in? If she's gone, but I would okay. bring her there if she's there. But, um, if, but now if I respect the whore more than I respect you, I'm going to make sure all your shit out. That's, you called, see, that's called a Jocelyn. <laughs> Jocelyn? Jocelyn Hernandez? Yeah. I know her, right? Um, oh, get, oh, oh, the hoes oh. the hoes get respect. <laughs> it flew right over your head. He's crazy. It's bald. No. Um what's the nigga name that her man? Stevie? Stevie J, yeah. Okay. Well this she, woman... she's not though, right? She got kids. Yeah, no what? Not what? So this woman went viral, right? <laughs> and it was because she put up how she looks at where her man is doing on his phone, and that's because she'll take a picture. And then, then later scroll in and zoom in to Amazing. read. Wait, have you ever did anything sneaky like that to catch somebody doing some shit? Oh, absolutely. Like what? Oh, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> you like that's the oldest trick. Yeah, ever? I've done but, that. But you can't do that shit. Why not? Because you're mad. I'm day, not going through his phone. Do that shit. Because I don't like nobody going through my phone. <laughs> but I don't. Do everything. I'm zoom. I'm definitely zooming in. I've definitely <laughs> looked in the Uber black window, like. Mm. <laughs> I've definitely, I've definitely had like you know, because there's cameras in my in my house. Do you? Oh, I, you know why there? I don't do it? Yes, ma'am. You know why I don't do that? Because it's like out for the 24 hours, I can keep myself happy all day long. Why would I put my hand on that fire? No, most likely 90 percent, right? We find something. Mm-hmm. So you know the the percentage is high that you will find something if you go in there. Why would you do that? You want to? Yeah, I yourself? do try not to look at anything that I think is gonna make me fucking upset. But sometimes curiosity, man. <sighs> I'm that, not going through the phone, we're... but I'm definitely looking no, over your shoulder. And t- no, no he's talking about take that picture and then. Oh, I've done that. Yeah, she... I'm looking. If you held in that conversation yeah. in front of me, then that's even I'm, more I'm... disrespectful. You better okay. catch your bullshit in public okay. and private, nigga. You not know, behind my right, back. right. Or I'll I'll take a picture in that moment and then talk about it later. You is, know, is it almost over that because you, you can't really trust now? You like the trust is kind of almost over. Well, it depends on what it was that I saw and you know of what what's but going does that down. Make you sneaky like. That He's you, sneaky. But who is who else? Which is one sneaky? is sneaky? Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends because it. I would do that in that moment only if it was like not a, a private moment. So why don't we just ask? Mm. Instead of being sneaky. Because now you're meeting them where they are. Yes. You're Isn't matching, that what you're supposed to? No. no. You're matching energies instead mm. of leveling no. the situation up. Somebody, right? somebody and I'm talking to myself it. when I talk mm. to you because I did actually. I am the kind of person that'll be like. <laughs> So, 
motherfucking hearts. What we talk about with the hearts, though. Like, um, can we? What's going yeah, on with hearts? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. And it's like I'm not one of those people that be on you like mm-hmm. that. Like, I'm mm-hmm. like, why you? Doing? No, no, no. I'm mm-hmm. not. I used to be. Mm-hmm. But like, if I see a motherfucking heart and it's in my peripheral, right? Nigga, you doing that shit? I'm like, who? Who we hearting? Right. Like, little, uh, okay, uh, a little say, cousin. Okay. okay. <laughs> so that's right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, let, let me see you. All right, all right, and, all right. And, this, and real truthfully, I wouldn't even get mad if my shorty did that to me. Because you're doing it right here. Yeah, yeah, I ain't mad at that. If you see a little hearts and nah, baby, boom. You know what I'm saying? Everything peace. You know what I'm saying? I would but, only take the picture if it was like not in a private setting where we couldn't have that conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but it's oh, not. Before you erase it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but you know what? One yeah. time I'm t- talking to my homeboy and trust and believe he don't like me. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. he's swing for the other team. Mm-hmm. So I'm peace, talking, peace. but in my mind, because we talk like this, I'm not thinking nothing of it. So the guy I was dating at the time, he right over my shoulder, and I know that he could see this, but I'm not even, again, thinking about it. Cause, so I'm sending my, still my a man homeboy hearts and shit. Nah, mm-hmm. still a man at the end of the day. Trust me. No, I hear you. I no, hear you. I hear the same thing. This nigga do not want me. Joe, Joe yeah. Budden just said something about that. These niggas is not gay. Yeah, he's talking about arrogant <laughs> Um, but no, so I put her, I was like, thank you. And I put two hearts. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't know, but the nigga, he was so mad, but I didn't know what he was mad at me about. Cause it innocently to me, yeah, that's a, I didn't that's do a, that's anything. A, yeah. That happened to me and Chanel. Two days later, like the nigga stopped fucking with me and everything. Two days later, he finally came out and was like, you know, I seen you send those hearts to so-and-so and send mm-hmm. the nigga name. And I'm like, nigga, that's the nigga that, uh, 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 mm-hmm. he like, oh, mm-hmm. he felt stupid as fuck. Mm-hmm. But then I understood because I was like, I would have felt the way too, but nah, he ain't. He mm-hmm. like you actually. He was asking me about that. <laughs> <laughs> what you was doing, trying to set that shit up? Yeah, Fuck yeah. Up. Plot to twist. Up, but Plot yeah. twist. You get what I'm saying? Right. No, but um, sometimes that's why a conversation instead of us jumping to conclusions. Mm-hmm. If you give a fuck about that person, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, I think that's the problem. We mm-hmm. always so quick to just cut a motherfucker off. Or you be you like, tell me to stop thing. doing that. You's like, yo, stop trying to like. I always try to test people and shit like that. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I tell him. I'm trying to see your character, and it's like, maybe if I, I love try character. to stop right now, if I if I say something right now in this moment, I would think they they're gonna just move it to go to another way. If that's her, that's gonna be her. So character gonna, gonna reveal itself regardless. Always. <laughs> Sooner than later, especially. But, but, yeah, but, 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 I, but I don't want to stop that. I don't want them to stop to go ahead and, and go on the path that they want to do. If that's what you want to go, go ahead and do it. But I want to know that's who you are. But if I sit there and say something, you're going to switch it up or act like, oh, that's not really this. And every time you get around this person, or you're not going to act a certain way because you don't want me to think that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, but forcing it out of them is not the way. No, that's, mm-hmm. why I, that's why I sit back and let it go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you're saying. Like, Maybe if I do see a text or something like that, me, I'd probably be like... Or maybe she took that picture because she knew that she was dealing with a liar. That's what I say. It's a trust there. Yeah. Should you already be gone? Yeah, right. Like, where version you at to where you be like in a relationship to where like, is this the one more straw? That's why I'm taking this picture. But sometimes right. you come in with those issues. It ain't even the person. Mm. You know, you might have had... I've definitely been there too. Where I took my past issues out on the next person and he wasn't even the person to take it out on because he... It wasn't, you know, it wasn't nothing like that. Just an innocent bystander. Yeah, sometimes you take a shot at the wrong motherfucker, mm. you know what I mean? Now, let's get into a little bit of black excellence. We Shout got. out to Young Miami. They tried okay. to drag her. Why? But what she happened? did her damn thing. She She's now acting. She's yeah. in the BMF show. They Dope. said she gave Tubi. So, uh, you know, they were trying to, like, basically rag on her acting skills. Oh, like and you purple? know what I really like about her? She posted up a picture looking fire. And she put acting bad. So Period. you gotta make, you know, Period. Make light out but of it. But you know what? I thought she did. I th- I thought she she did good in the other movie with um. What was the, the one? one where she's dating Diddy? No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> like no, not that That's one. A great one. <laughs> um, no, it's the one on Netflix with um, uh, Lauren London. Oh, yeah. oh. Wasn't that hilarious? You people, you people. Uh, that was hilarious. Uh, I thought she did great. I it was ATL. Yeah. That's okay. Anyway, uh, big shout out to Jennifer McLean. She becomes the first black woman elected to Congress in Virginia. And also, big shout out to nine year old Bobby Wilson, who was wrongly reported to police over what the fuck is this? Big Somebody called the cops on her for looking at butterflies or something. What? And then she, uh, she got a report, ended up getting a full scholarship to Yale or something. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. so she go. was interested yeah, in... There you go. 
Congratulations, young lady. Yes, we love that. Mm-hmm. She was walking and spraying stuff on the sidewalk. Oh, okay. So they said they didn't know what she was doing. They called the police on her. And it was really because she was interested in, like, collecting, I guess, these butterflies, these lantern flies. Mm-hmm. And um, it was for Yale's Peabody Museum. So she mm. ended up getting a full scholarship. She's just nine years old. Beautiful, beautiful little young sister. So go ahead. I know yes, that's right. Ma'am. She made homemade bug spray. And she was, uh, oh, yeah. So wow. that's so fire. So look at that. Congratulations, yeah. man. You know, shout out to her. Now we're going to get into Wax's ABCs. Wax's ABCs. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to give him a word. He's going to spell up. Well, he's going to. Tell us what it is, define it, use it in a sentence. And the word is F I N I F U G L, I mean A L. This is Fin Fugo. Fin Fugo is a rich company and rich family. Um, they the Fugos. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Fugos. They, 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 is they finna. They, they, they Fugo is just like. You know, like the Jewish, they always keep all their money and stuff like that. When you frugal, right? I'm saying it right. You don't spend frugal. a lot of money. Frugal. Frugal. Yeah. So when you frugal, you don't you don't um, spend a lot of money. So finna be frugal. <laughs> I'm finna be frugal. <laughs> 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 Bitch, you ain't getting nothing. Where is the R? No. <laughs> finna be frugal. You know what I'm saying? So this is the uh, this is the uh, this is the study the Jewish. These the Arabs finna be fugal because they're on the way to frugalness. Okay. Was that the sentence and the definition? Uh, okay, so I went over to uh, a couple of my friends is from Afghanistan, and they want to be. Uh, you don't frugal. know nobody from Afghanistan. I know a lot of people from Afghanistan. Okay, go on. And they was telling me about how much they want to be like the uh, Jewish, and so they're like, "We finna be frugal." <laughs> I think yeah, I see it. Okay, what is it, Twerk? Watch this. I bet you the same. That's definitely not what it means. What do you mean? Where was the R? I don't know. This nigga just says anything. <laughs> <laughs> the word is finifugal, and it means it's somebody who's afraid to finish something. See? They, 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 listen. Because you were finna go broke? Yeah. No, no, because the, the um, Arabs, they can sit there and do it. But they hesitate. Is okay, that what that means? Anyway. No, you ruined it. They finna do it. They finna they finna be <laughs> through. Okay, whatever. Shana, let the people know what you have going on, how they can support you, how they can um, follow you. Well, I mean, just recently I'm I'm just trying to get this whole prostitution law decriminalized. So I was in Albany earlier this week, um, trying to get it fully decrimmed. Last year, well in twenty twenty one. Um, me and other organizers, we actually got the prostitution law here in the state of New York repealed called the Walking Wild Trans Ban, which is loitering with the intent to commit, you know, prostitution. So now all the girls Good. can walk outside. No time for that shit. Yeah. All the girls can walk outside in thigh high boots or whatever they want to do. So I'm just on that that whole mode. Um, as far as what I'm doing, I'm you know, I can't speak about, you know, acting and stuff like that. But everything happens, That's you know, in due time. Sense. Yeah, yeah. and you can find me anywhere on all social medias. You can find me, um, the Shauna Brooks or Shauna Brooks. I know that's, but you know, I have one more question actually. How do you feel about Boosie? Because he has like a lot of opinions, and he's been called out before by Mike Tyson and um, also Gabrielle Union because they feel like he always has an opinion when it comes to the LGBTQ community. Even though his daughter mm-hmm. has just recently come out and said that she is lesbian. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm, the same. I'm sure that it's you... not the same. I said love them the same. Yeah, but yeah. it's not the same. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. I'm sure you've dealt with people that had uh, criticism towards you that you may be we're friends with or mm-hmm. whatever the case. So what do you think when people feel that strongly about something that really has nothing to do with them? I don't know. And I, I, I've, cause I don't know him personally. Um, I just sit back and just watch. Like I have nothing to say, no comment on it. I don't even know why people like that have such a, a strong stance and opinion about like, cause it irritates me to see him talk about the ways all the time like yeah, and, and I don't get it. It, it it just really is i don't understand it you know and even with like the wades and and how society you know is 
I can see a shift and a turn in the culture, but I also see a lot of hate from our culture. Yeah. And that it lets me know that we're it's still so much more work to do, but it's because we've been oppressed for so long and black people and people of minority have been mm-hmm. literally down for so long that it's hard to be inclusive and embracing to all walks of life, right? Yeah. Cuz you can't even walk outside in your own skin and be comfortable. So it's hard to embrace a full unconditional love for, you know, your loved ones or society in general. And I think a lot of that has to stem from he probably knew that his daughter was a lesbian, so he didn't want that life or struggle to, or even accept that, you know, she would choose that route when it's not a choice. So they don't understand. And I think it's, it's, our responsibility to love unconditionally and pass that along. And when you have something behind the scenes and you're that public figure and something is brewing in your pot in your home, that it, those projected voices of whatever reason comes off in an ignorant way is because of dealing with something like that. I don't believe that he should be doing it because he does have a, a massive following, yeah. Yeah. you know, that he people can't, listen to him. people, you know, and, but then again, it's also what type of people it's that, that, that bracket of generation mm-hmm. that he has literally has a cult following. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the younger generation is not listening to Boosie though. You yeah. get what I'm saying? The younger generation is out here doing whatever they want to do. That's right. And they are, they're the ones who are out here protesting. They're the ones, you know, like, how is it for me? Black Lives Matter movement was such a progressive, symbolic, like civil rights era Mm -hmm. from back in the civil rights era where we actively globally stood in solidarity for a message cause and literally protested in every major city across the world. And not one legislative following came afterwards nothing nothing because you did not organize you did not strategize and you did not make demands just went out and did mm-hmm. y'all went out and did a movement that you go it's going for me to believe in your black lives matter i'm going to need to see more than a flag a bumper sticker and just saying in solidarity yeah. to me y'all marched all in the streets after 5 p.m. and the niggas that was on cnn Watching CNN, the niggas at home that can change the laws, that can rewrite the laws, is looking at CNN at niggas literally putting buildings on fire. That's they're gonna get an insurance check. Yeah, yeah. You so get a bigger you get, yeah. they like they yeah, like they like we gonna we gonna get back to the office tomorrow morning and make some 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 le- that legislation easy. that's gonna get these niggas right together again. You're they're we're bringing the focus and not bringing the follow through with the demands yeah. you ha- you have to go to your state capital meetings you have to go to your city council you know you have to be involved in the politics especially if we protested in them streets and took that street to the capitol building they would have changed everything yeah, yeah. everything I think that's why we have to have more conversations where it's like and that's why i think you're so dope because you even said like even when you came in and you said to wax like ask me whatever mm-hmm. and you can joke yes. about certain things that's but case. then you have no problem with explaining certain things i don't understand why we can't be ourselves and understand each other and mm-hmm. even if we don't, I really understand don't be known. each other mm-hmm. yeah just why are you mad at somebody else for being their self mm-hmm. and i know when you came in earlier you said um you know because you're being you mm-hmm. but why does it have to be like just because i'm being me now i have to be an advocate and that makes me think of zaya you know and it makes me think it's stressful that she's too young to be having stressful to just let yeah. her be she i'm sure she, she can't has she doesn't own her social media yeah. she does not own her social and, media and she can't because i'm pretty God. sure the things that get said yeah, mm-hmm. you don't want her to go through that crazy. you know what i'm saying it's kind of wild for being yourself mm-hmm. at the end of the day and mm-hmm. then you have grown men upset that you're being yourself mm-hmm. and it's just not right and your daddy coming like boulders yeah. like this on you know what i mean and whether or not she sees it or not she she knows what's going on yeah you know what i mean so it's like kudos to all of the people around her that's protecting her but i just i know what it does to me and i just want more love to be spread out yeah, amongst as it everyone should, as it you know should. what i mean and if we're gonna move together let's move for a reason in solidarity yeah, exactly. you know what i mean 
me included, just because I'm, you know, I'm half black, I'm half Asian. So when it comes to the whole biracial thing, you know, when it comes to the, the intersectionalities of all the communities that I literally am parallel to, nothing's going to get changed unless I go and do it yeah. for myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I have to be the advocate, then I'm going to have to be the advocate. But it is dauntingly stressful when I spoke about this years ago and people didn't want to listen to my voice because I didn't come from a collegiate background. You know, I didn't come from uh, 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 what do you call it? A college degree. I don't have yeah. these accolades that norm that normally people would find more. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, respectable. Yeah. And I don't, I don't. I have a lived experience, and my experience in this is that we have to get these things done, and we have to do it today. There has to be organizing, and there has to be strategy. But you have to end it with a demand, or else nothing else will change. Yeah. We want reparations. You need to go down to your state capitol building, and you need to talk it. to your senators yeah. because those people, I guarantee you, are not on social media. Yeah. Those older people don't know your flight in life. Yeah. They really don't care because all they care about is who was calling their office phones or that's exactly. going to disrupt their working yeah, day. Yeah, that's it. So if you protest during 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at that building, I guarantee that's you. Difference. That's, that's a big difference. That's called lobbying. That's called lobbying. That's called lobbying. That's, that's what, that's what I do. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you're going to hear my story and I'm going to make the change because you're going to enact on it and yeah. you're going to change it. It's the, That's what legislators do. And if I have to... For anything, yeah. So you'd be like, right. out, out here, I want everybody to be out here, be naked, and they sign oh, up. Oh God, bill. of course, this is yes. Crazy. That will happen. I thought about that because trans women have breasts, right? Yeah. So we have this drag culture right now that is being amplified with children, right? But we don't tell people, don't bring your kids to Hooters because it's tastefully done, right? Yeah. But at the same rate, it's not about the kids at all. It's about the age restriction. It's about enforcing spaces that are age appropriate yeah, right yeah. and if a drag queen now think about it like this if obscenity or if indecent exposure for men would be pulling your dick out right it's out of control right yes pulling your dick out yes but yet you can give the same thing to a trans woman because she had her tits out well if you look at her in the eyes of the law she's technically a man then you can have your shirt off you can have your shirt off Cause like that's how I was when I was locked up. After five, you know, p.m., you could just wear. You don't have to wear your little jumper. So here I go, sports bra, boom, titties out. Like, but it was not because they looked at me in the eyes of the law. We have to have regulations. We have to have so an ordinance. Look, so how the law look at you? Well, see, it's different for me because mm -hmm. it it depends on what your documentation says. So if your yeah. license say male, then oh yeah, baby. The, Tiss is rocking out. So what you identify mm -hmm. as? I was saying, they lock you up, where you going? Well, it depends on what state you're at. See, that's why we're not, it's, everything is not the same in America. It's not cohesive here. Like It's like weed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. no, no tea, no shade. The, the drags being, in, you know, improperly exposed. It could be a breastplate, but a child doesn't know that it's a breastplate. Yeah. It's just what, what about that story where the the trans woman was locked up and got all those women pregnant? That's what I'm saying. See, and that's to if me. I, if, I, if I know I'm about to go to jail, that's not a, a trans time, woman to me. I'm like, going to get for me real. Some well, so, supposedly trans woman was in the jail and got a whole bunch of women pregnant. That's just that is absurd. I will go. If, listen, if I'm, <laughs> if I, if I'm about to go to jail for murder, and I know if I'm going forever, I'm going to get me some boobs if I know I'm going into women's prison. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it one minute. All right, but, but why? Podcast. But Don't even entertain this story. Are you yet. serious? Make sure I'm you rate, review, subscribe. Tell them for the telephone. I'm gonna go get some titties. If I'm getting locked up. Shawna, can you put them on to a good Listen, place? Listen, I can give you some if good ones. If I'm going right. to run and they trying to put me in jail forever, if I'm no, I'm going to the women's jail. Why am I going sure to the women's fucking hard lane? Just so I can see wax with these titties. Okay. A woman's titties. Shit. We'll woman. see you next week. It's giving me noxema. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us. We'll, we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Early.